Where does my sovereignty exist? Is it out there or is it in this, this heart, this mind, this awareness? I've noticed that the more effort I put into pushing outside reality to fit my desires, the more my inner garden desertifies until the unique blooms that only I grow die and my flowing from the spring of life dries. So I'm keeping it simple by practicing inner gardening with early morning starting of thanking, stretching, praying, breathing, and finally just being. In this way, my flowers grow and my spring flows clear and sweet as thirsty folk gather and meet to rest and quench their thirst for love at last. To change the world, I nourish my heart and my morning practice is where I start. I know that so many of you in the world right now are feeling overwhelmed and powerless and frustrated with the way things are happening out there in the world. And I know how tempting it is to continue to just scroll through or to take in and absorb all the information and feel more and more as if, if only things changed out there, then the world would be the way that I think it should be or I feel it should be or I want it to be. And the beautiful power of claiming responsibility, of being the change, is that then we are the inner gardeners. We grow a beautiful inner garden that then flows and becomes a safe haven for the people in our circles, in our lives. And as that circle grows, more and more people are living in these beautiful inner gardens and sharing their gardens of life together. And because of all of that, and because of the profound impact that I've had in my own life as someone who's deeply struggled with overwhelm, burnout, depression, and feeling of hopelessness, and at times thinking it would be better if I just didn't exist at all, I am certain that my morning practice is the foundational thing that sets up the entire rest of my life. How we spend our days is of course how we spend our lives. Annie Dillard said that, and, and more and more I realize how I spend my morning is how I spend my day, how I am present with my day, present with my morning, present with my day. So I have created a five-day morning practice challenge as a, so to serve this community, to serve you in this time if it feels resonant. This is really a beginner's practice for anyone who has tried and failed to set up practices before, morning practices or other breath work, meditation, etc. Or for someone who's new to these kind of practices and looking to start something that really is about inner empowerment so that instead of waiting for something out there to shift, Become the energy of that w which you wish to see and feel more of in the world. And through that, the transformation occurs. So it's available now at wearealreadyfree.com forward slash morning practice, one word. It will also be linked wherever this video is. So yeah, it's getting such beautiful feedback from the people who've been through it already. And I'm so glad that it can be of service in these times. I'm so excited that I can offer this and it is now available and I've put so much love and joy and everything that you're seeing in me right now, I have poured into these, this challenge for you. So check out for more details at wearealreadyfree.com dot com forward slash morning practice and i wish you blessings as you begin this beautiful journey thank you for being here and blessings on the path